Uh, speaking of objectively wrong, yeah. Um, I mean, there's this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm stunned that uh, Dan had you not seen this either. Uh, no, I I have <laughs> definitely seen this. I, the oh, thing, that, seen this. the okay, thing yeah. that I wasn't sure about is when I saw it last because it feels like haha vintage meme from three years ago. But I'm pretty sure it was like two months ago that this video came out. Um, no, it wasn't two months ago. <laughs> like how old is this? I don't know. Like it's not very I think old. This is like. <laughs> relatively early on when mid journey was a thing like earlier last year probably yeah but it doesn't feel like that long ago oh, yeah, no. and it's come so far in yeah, floating plane chats is about a year yeah that yeah makes sense. Um, jess and i could not stop laughing at this we we're trying to have a conversation it was on the screen and we just couldn't uh um, <laughs> it's so good uh, there's a, we've got a couple of other examples like the ai beer commercial here <laughs> yeah very good uh, anywho, the point is that um, OpenAI has taken a big leap forward with AI video, revealing their new text-to-video model, Sora, which creates high-resolution videos up to a minute long, far beyond what any similar model has previously been able to make. Some of the demo videos are almost indistinguishable from real footage, while others remain surreally dreamlike and have occasional AI artifacts like extra limbs popping in and out of existence. The model can also animate still images and blend two different clips together into one shot. Some experts have speculated that Sora's improved ability to represent real-world physics may indicate that it was trained on scenes created in Unreal Engine 5. There are some Sora demos on the OpenAI site, we'll be checking those out in a minute. CEO Sam Altman took public requests and posted the results on Twitter. Uh, here are two Golden Retrievers podcasting. I, I think this is like the worst one that I've seen, to be honest. But yeah, there they are. I mean, it's... Um, it's very impressive, but have you seen some of the other ones? I intentionally didn't look at anything until WAN show. Oh, yeah, there's like, crazy stuff. This look at, just look looks at, screen on, screened on. onto, me, onto me, a mountain. Let me hijack this. Yeah. I definitely see the, the dream-likeness. Yeah. But, and like the... The cat's foot kind of moves at a weird angle sometimes. On but if pretty you much all of them, there's like, there's a little bit that's like, yeah, huh? that like that's that a paw like kind of came out of a. Oh yeah, okay. There's. If I wasn't paying attention though, if I was shopping in a store, and this footage was on a TV, it's in your peripheral, and it, you know that it was like a promotional imagery of you know their uh, their stupid. Uh, uh, dog scarf on a on a dog. Uh, yeah, I, no, I wouldn't notice. Look how good the fur is and stuff, though. That's wild. Like those two beaches on the left and right of the dog are obviously different beaches. Yeah, and the bird just like actually morphs into the side of the dog's body when it goes by, and like it's gone after it goes past the pole. Like there's there's some things that are just a little weird. This one's crazy to me. This one's actually kind of nuts to me. The only place that I really notice anything is in the feet. Yep. Um, but like the eyes are insanely good. I'm going to skip over to one because there's one very interesting part of it. Oh, if I can find it. Give me a quick sec. Where is oh, it? Oh, Luke's uh, doing stuff. Luke's doing stuff. Uh, He's doing stuff. He's finding stuff. Is it going to be here? Oh, no. Um, oh, wow. Is it under capabilities? Is it on this slider? I think so. Hold on. Skull and Bones gameplay right there. Naval there battles. we go, Let's this go. one. So this one has a, a lot going on. W one of the reasons why I'm not so crazy about the dogs podcasting on the hill is there's just not really that much going on. This is much more complicated. One issue that I've found with a lot of these is it has a problem with forward and reverse time. Mm -hmm. Some of the video will look like people are in like video that is being rewound. Yeah. And other bits are going forward and it, it, it has a lot of issues with that. Um, there's also still some problems with movement, uh, but there's a really impressive and a really interesting thing that happens. Watch this sign. It's going to completely occlude behind her head. And it's the <sighs> exact same when it comes out the other end, which is actually nuts. Um, right, that means that they have to 
they have to be looking the, at more than just previous frame, more than just previous like 10 frames. And the scene cuts and it's still good. That's pretty crazy. But we'll see if you even notice. Something really big changes here at the end. It took me a few watches to even notice. It hasn't happened yet, to be clear. It's happening right now. Uh, did her... Oh, her jacket changed. Like, dramatically, yeah. Wait, is it that dramatic? Oh, it's very dramatic. Hold on, okay, go back to it, go back to it. I could tell the jacket looked different. I couldn't tell why... Oh, oh, oh. It's, like, very different, and most people don't even notice. Okay, how many, how many frames? Pretty crazy. How many frames was that jacket out of the shot for? That's quite a few, like a lot. Okay, actually. so it was gone for a while. When does it become this jacket? Because does that have the straps on the shoulders? So it goes away wide? at like 36 seconds, and the video is a minute long. In the wide shot, does it have the little like straps on the shoulders? Because uh, I don't see them. Can little... you zoom? Enhance. 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 Yes. Oh, it does. Okay. Straps. Okay. So, what do they look like in the close up? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. It's all right. So, they go this way. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, they're similar. -ish. They're pretty similar. The panels are just a little bit different sizes. I, you know what I bet it's doing then is it's probably rendering more than just the frame it shows us. Because that would help it out in a big way, kind of like the like it like a like a, like on a treadmill, you know. So they're they're figuring out what's coming before it actually gets to us, so that there's some cohesion, and then retaining permanence of what goes off the frame. So basically, we're probably seeing a subset of the entire frame that is being rendered. Yeah. If that kind of makes sense. If I'm guessing, I don't, I don't know how all this works. See like this, this motion right here, there's a lot of this, but this motion right here looks like it was like, that looks like it was in reverse. Mm. You know what I mean? There, there's, there's way better examples of that. That one's much more subtle. Um, but a lot of these videos are well, really interesting. This one makes me uneasy. Mm -hmm. This one's really uncanny. Yeah. Like very uncanny Valley for me. Yeah. Oh, that his face does not look right. That doesn't look human. Uh, people are saying they love the knitted helmet. Yeah. I mean, this he's got to stay crazy. warm. He's got to stay warm, you guys. Come you on. Can, uh, you can see it in the water. It's, it's just like not quite right. That wave is too straight. Look how straight that wave is. And then there's something. That I is the world's straightest wave. There was something else going on with it too, but I don't remember like it exactly would walk it into was. a certain type of nightclub and be like, "No, nope, I need to go. <laughs> I belong elsewhere. Um, <laughs> the straightest wave will, in the world. I will find my people. Um, but uh, there's like, yeah, there's little bits on the water here where I think it, I think it gets confused about like, is this water? Is this rock? Yeah. That, that one splash happened at like a different speed than a lot of other things. Like there's mm -hmm. just little bits that are like, oh, I don't know. That flame is the stupidest flame ever. But it's stylistic animation, so it's like hard to... Yeah, kind of. Hello, fishies. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. What, what? This is not supposed to be... This is supposed to be like... <gasps> oh. Paper anime. Oh, paper craft world. A yeah. gorgeously rendered paper craft world. Oh, this is pretty cool. This one was kind of nuts. There's some of its like... Uh, whatever you would call this, plumage of some sort. Um, that like doesn't really make a ton of sense i wouldn't notice uh, okay so another thing too but i wouldn't have noticed it's short form video right 100%. like a lot of the time it's so compressed that the movement's insanely good that you 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 wouldn't uh oh wow so good the movement's in, like absurd very bird-like yeah okay so in a nutshell Give it another couple of years, and we're not going to be able to tell what's real from what's not real. We've come a long way. A couple of years? Well, Give it's it going to take time. Give it when this tool is out. This will fool people immediately. Oh, sorry. So I, I was, I, a I lot was of these talking, will fool me immediately. I was talking more broadly. Like, we're just basically not going to be able to distinguish anything. Oh, like no one can. Anything. Yeah. 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 So one thing that I will say is the examples given before were yeah. specifically people trying to consume things. And in the Will Smith spaghetti example, spaghetti 
especially at that time, was very difficult to deal with um, because you have a lot of object permanence issues. You have a lot of individual strands you have to track. I can't, but, I can't. But in this, no, seriously, in this, <laughs> his face is actually pretty okay. There's obviously morphing issues, but everyone knows that's Will Smith. You guys can laugh. Everyone knows that's Will Smith. No, I did the spaghetti. None of these have anyone consuming something. Turn it None on. of these have something. Someone putting something in their mouth and having part of it disappear. Turn it on. Uh huh. Okay. And I think that's actually a pretty big deal. Uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, I'm paying attention, Luke. I'm I'm paying extra extra good attention, like a good boy. So a lot of these ones that look really good are a lot easier to do than those brutal examples from the past. Um, but obviously, they are clearly a league above. I'm not saying they're not. I just we're we're cherry picking easier things now, like the dogs podcasting on the mountain. Sure. Compared to extreme difficulty from the past. Um, so I think the gap would be a little bit smaller than people realize and this is why when people were laughing at that one I was like, oh, we're screwed because there was clearly this trajectory coming yeah. Um, yeah Cool um, in the future people will demand you eat spaghetti on webcam to verify you're human in the future It won't matter like they'll figure that out. It's it's they already have massive the her head Going in front of that sign and the sign being perfect on the other end means you're screwed. Like <laughs> they're already progressing an incredibly, incredibly difficult problem. Yeah. Um, and remember, too, guys, everything that you guys just saw was done with no source. So uh, if we're just talking about deep faking, there was no source for Golden Retrievers podcasting. I mean, there was. Hold on, let me let me. That obviously it was trained on things. So when I say no source, I mean no direct input. So when you compare that to the kind of realism that you could achieve with something like deep faking, where part of what you're seeing could be real, and only the person who is being altered to look like something that they're not is actually different, it could be even more convincing because you wouldn't end up in a situation where an arm sprouts out of somewhere where it's not supposed to be. Do you kind of get where I, where I was going with that? Mm -hmm. So coming back to what we talked about last week, where I think it was what 25, the $25 million heist using deep faked executives at the company that's today. And that's going to get so much better so yeah and that's in a situation where people often have low quality webcams mm -hmm. and are in very static situations you're not usually eating on camera yep. which is a very difficult thing to deal with you're usually just sitting there talking or if you wanted to be even more convincing and you were able to use the power of this you could you could say okay uh we've okay this happened to us a while back is a company that we were dealing with had their email infiltrated mm -hmm. so they were monitoring our communications so you could wait for an opportune time when you know that yeah, okay the exec is on a safari and you could take your your deep faked version of the exec and you could put them on a truck in the african you know uh, safari yeah 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 and in, in, in the you know african wilderness and 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 have it be convincing you know like yeah, sorry. Uh, the only reason I'm 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 still here. The only reason I'm joining this is because like that would be so. That would be so convincing. That would be the closest thing to that person getting on a plane and showing up in your office to talk about the urgent money transfer that needs to be done. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. And that's not even that sophisticated of an attack. Yeah. My comment, I think it was last week or maybe the week before, about how a lot of things are going to have to be like actual, genuine, in-person. I'm putting all my money in gold. <laughs> I'm going to bury it. Put it in, put it in a siliconable sand. <laughs> okay, for real though, you want not investment device? Device. You want, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want not investment advice? Buy IPv4 addresses. Mm. For real though. Like yeah. the return on IPv4 addresses has been like, yeah. it's like, it's low key. Like nobody in the investment sphere talks about this, but like, 
<laughs> blocks of IPv4 addresses or like, uh, yeah. Turns out IPv6 sucks and nobody <laughs> likes it. <laughs> it's really annoying to work with. Um, yeah. The whole but thing. seriously, we, we talked about that a while ago too. Google's going to be spending more on hardware than on people soon. Um, or now, now I think, I think it was this year. I don't remember what the news was. Look it up. Um, but like, that's, that's absolutely a thing. Yeah. Buy companies with a higher, with higher level IPv4 block just for the, I, just for their IP blocks. Yeah. Um, IPv6 rules. What are you talking about? Sure. Yeah. Now you just have to get everyone to agree with you. <laughs> See, that's the problem. <laughs> Uh, th no, there's no problem with IPv IPv6. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Just, 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 just chill for a second. Here we go. The problem is not the technology. The problem is people and implementation. And it's uh, things move slowly. Um, IPv4, you know what? Maybe a terrible investment. The second that IPv6 actually is the only thing we need, IPv4 addresses are going to crash, and it could happen tomorrow. I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not privy to to information that other Genuinely, people don't have. Genuinely, it wasn't investment advice. Genuinely, it was not. But it has definitely been a thing. If you if you look it up, it's definitely been a thing. Um. People are like, yeah, most uh, most Fortune 500 companies are IPv6 with no problem. So silly. I, I look. Okay, IPv4 address values over the years. I, I don't even know how to Google this. I don't even know. Okay, here we go. IPXO IPv4 price history. Here we go. A 14 minute read. Just stop. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Exhaustion over the years. Yep. So there's been some exhaustion okay the challenges blah 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 can you just show me the seriously do you not oh yeah there it is oh no that's ipv6 adoption hold on okay so that's an interesting graph that's transfers from six dollars to sixty dollars in under a decade um yeah so that's, that's one weird trick so that's so that's something. So it looks it cooled like it off is in, trending down, though. Cooled off in 2021, but uh, from what I've heard, it's uh, it's still gonna be it's still gonna be a thing. 